Hello, I'm Paul. And I'm Wendy. And we're here to introduce you to mind scams. These are the devious tricks our mind plays to get instant gratification, ensuring that we ignore what helps us achieve our outcome. They're often behind why we eat the wrong foods, we drink too much, don't get enough sleep or exercise. They're best friends with procrastination. So Wendy and I had set out to make a video about mind scams and to make it real, we thought about conversations we'd had in our real lives. However, when we tried to make this video, we spent a whole day doing everything except making it. So in the rest of the video, you'll see some examples that were taken from our actual conversation on that day when we failed to make the video. So if you understand mind scams and more importantly, the patterns and motivations of these behaviors, you can make a huge difference to yourself and your clients, particularly any time it's not immediately obvious why resourceful people seem unable to achieve their outcome. Yeah, and just a quick note on the examples you're about to see. In the conference session itself, we'll be talking about mind scams happening for one person. So maybe you, maybe your client. In the examples in this video, you'll get get to see not only how individuals mind scan themselves, but how two people can happily collude in collaborative mind scanning. So let's find out how they do it. So this example is from when Wendy and I first started talking. So we opened our call and I said, okay, we've got that video to do today, but Wendy, I haven't seen you in ages. You've been away in South Africa. You haven't had power. It sounds like a nightmare. Let's just do a quick catch up. What was happening? So this was an example of a believable excuse, which gives you the excuse to do something other than the outcome, cast iron excuse. Given how important doing the video was, was it necessary to do our catch up right then? Not really. Now notice there's a subtle difference between a believable excuse and a true reason for doing something else. The mind scam is that we trick ourselves into believing that something else is more important, but we don't actually challenge that more important. So after we caught up on Wendy's exciting escapades in South Africa, um, it was my turn. So what I said was, oh, Wendy, that's so interesting. Um, but I've got a whole list of things to tell you because we haven't seen each other for so long. And well, we do need to get this video done, but I have to tell you this one little thing. So this is an example of telling yourself untruths. It's another way in which you can do something other than going for your outcome. There are two untruths here. Did you spot them both? First of all, Paul said, I have to tell you. Did he actually have to? No. He could have waited and nothing particularly bad or good would have happened. And secondly, he said it was one little thing. So how little do you think it actually was? 30 minutes later and followed by a second thing, we moved on to other topics. Now, notice uh, that Wendy in no way uh, called me on it. She didn't say, that's not a little thing, or this is the second thing. She was happily in collusion with me the whole way through. Uh, and also, at various points, I knew, I knew damn well it wasn't going to be little. And that all highlights an important aspect of mind scams, which is how they help you to avoid taking responsibility for your actions. So we've seen several examples of mind scams in action, and I'm sure you can think of ideas for what we could do differently. But what's interesting is the mind scams that we repeatedly do. When you pay attention to patterns of behavior when coaching, you can have a greater impact and help the client prioritize what changes to make. Mind scams are patterns that are common across many people. And there'll be other additional patterns, possibly more unique to the client, that make a difference as well. So in our session, we'll explore all of this in more depth. Mind scams you haven't seen here, what motivates them, and strategies for doing something about them so that you can make more effective changes in yourself and with your clients. Yes, and you'll be examining your own mind scams. And having just gone through that process ourselves, we can tell you how incredibly valuable that is. It's made an immediate difference to how effectively we work together.
So we look forward to seeing you there.